topik uh, 2.3 subtopik 2.3 is the application bila sebut application ni maksudnya it involve the real life problem not just uh, the straight away to the equation kita kena solve based on the real life application so that's 2.3 alright so for 2.1 separable variable. I ask you to do the concept practice exercise question 1, 2 and 3 and I ask four of you to send it to me and thanks to them because they already sent it to me. So let us discuss some question that you asked just now. So the first question, question 2e. <coughs> so bila kita dapat je soalan Differential equation, the first thing that we need to do is try to separate the variable. Always try to separate the variable. Bila tak boleh, baru kita guna kaedah yang kedua which is integrating factor. Okay, this concept sama je macam awak jumpa soalan integration. Kan, saya kata apa yang kita buat dulu bila kita jumpa soalan integration, kita integrate dia directly. But bila kita tak boleh nak integrate dia directly, then kita kena uh, tengok the techniques of integration that we have to use because we cannot integrate them directly. But first thing first, we have to consider is to integrate them directly. Okay, sama juga dengan topik dua ni. What is the first thing that you need? could consider when uh, you have this question. First, we have to try, untuk solvekan dia, we have to try to separate the variable. If we cannot separate the variable, then baru kita pergi kepada teknik yang kedua. Alright, so as we can see here, why dekat sini uh, So dekat sini ada Y, dekat sini pun ada Y juga. Oh ni Y squared ni. Okay. So kita boleh keluarkan Y squared. So we will actually have negative 2 plus X. Okay. So bila kita nampak kita dah boleh separate kan variable dia. Meaning that kita boleh tulis dia secara berasingan macam ni. Y squared boleh bawa pergi sebelah. Kenapa Y squared nak bawa pergi sebelah? Because we have DY here dekat atas. Okay, so bawa pergi sebelah dia akan jadi y to the power of negative 2 ataupun 1 over y squared if you like. And then negative 2 plus x remains here. So when it remains here meaning that dx ni yang kita buat ni atas lah. Okay, now we have uh, in terms of x untuk the right hand side and in terms of y untuk the right hand side. Okay, this is where your integration knowledge is very useful. Sebab tu awak kena mantapkan dulu topik satu. Kena tahu macam mana nak integrate. Barulah kita boleh buat topik dua ni dengan mudah. Nak solvekan topik dua ni dengan mudah. And as I said, you are going to use this knowledge nanti dekat especially masa first year university. Mesti kena tahu macam mana nak integrate differentiate ni. So this is a very important uh, knowledge sebenarnya. Ramai orang bila dia jumpa one over ni, dia terus buat jawapan dia long. Salah ya? Salah. Yang jawapan dia long tu adalah kalau bawah tu y to the power of one. Okay, kalau case yang macam ni, this part, <coughs> boleh tak saya nak guna pen hijau? Takpelah saya guna je lah pen biru. Hmm. Y, one over y squared is y to the power of negative two. Y like this. Okay and then uh, yang ni kalau awak tak nak integrate lagi pun tak apa. Nak integrate terus pun boleh sebab dah boleh integrate. Alright so bila kita dah bawa naik atas macam ni barulah dia jadi y to the power of negative 1 over negative 1 negative 2x plus x squared over 2. Okay both have integration meaning that we have actually two constant. Tapi constant tu saya kata kita mesti tulis dekat akhir sekali. Meaning that kita sekalikan constant dekat Y dengan constant dekat S. Kita sekalikan lah. So kita letak plus C dekat sini. Tak ada masalah sebab dia adalah constant macam tu. So we actually have this one is negative Y to the power of negative 1 which is negative 1 over Y equals to ni kalau saya nak samakan penyebut dia negative 4x plus x squared over 2 plus c. 2c pun adalah 2 jugalah. Kan? Ha, kalau awak tak suka lah. Ni c, ni 2c. Ha, tak apa letaklah huruf lain. 
K ke A ke ha, Macam tu Still lagi Constant juga Okay And then uh, What we gonna have here adalah Kita nak cari uh, Y sama dengan apa So this is actually Y equals to um, 2 over Tak buat satu-satu lah Saya bawa dulu ni naik atas Ni bawa turun bawah So dia akan jadi song-song lah terbalik 4x Negative 4x plus X squared Plus C macam tu Masalah Okay and then kita boleh jadikan Y positif so kita dapat lah uh, Negative ni Bawa naik atas boleh Negative nak letak bawah turun bawah pun boleh Dia akan jadi uh, 4x minus X squared macam tu So kenapa jawapan belakang salah ke Dengan dua ini Oh dia tulis 1 over y je pun boleh juga Tak ada masalah So maksudnya dia stop dekat sini Okay so kita kena tengok konteks jawapan dia Macam mana kalau dia nak y macam ni lah Kalau dia nak 1 over y sahaja Maksudnya dia stop dekat sini So kita dapat kat sini sebenarnya negatif uh, 1 over y equals to negative 2x plus x squared over 2 plus C. So dia tak complicated kan. Dia just nak 1 over Y. So 1 over Y is equals to 2X minus X squared over 2 plus C. Macam tu. Okay. So sama sahaja. Maksudnya dia tak complicated kan untuk dapatkan Y. Dia bagi jawapan in terms of 1 over Y sahaja pun boleh. Okay. Uh, ada apa-apa nak tanya untuk dua ini? Yang bertanya Hello. Okey, kenapa stop dengan 2E? Saya tak faktorkan yang dekat mobil dia tu. Maksudnya tak boleh nak separatekan variable dia kan? Hmm. Okey, uh, very good uh, attempt. Sebab bila kita buat soalan yang betul-betul, uh, mungkin dia tak akan cakap macam ni. Kita dah tahu kita boleh separatekan variable dia sebab Confirm-confirm ni berada dekat dalam Exercise untuk separatekan variable So maksudnya nak tak nak mesti kena Boleh separatekan variable dia. Tapi dalam soalan Sometimes dia tak bagi tahu Dan selalunya lah dia tak bagi tahu Kita nak guna separable variable ke integrating factor So bila kita tak nampak boleh separatekan So kita terus guna integrating factor Salah lah Okay so teknik yang kita gunakan tu salah Macam soalan integration Sepatutnya guna substitution dia guna by part So sampai ke sudah you tak dapat jawapan Ataupun kena pakai uh, integration directly Tapi you pergi pakai teknik yang Ataupun kena pakai teknik you pergi integrate dia directly Which is salah okay So teknik kena betul So macam mana nak tahu soalan apa nak guna teknik apa Sebab itulah kita buat latihan Dan along the way saya ada bagi bagi tahu juga Hint-hint uh, dia Tanda-tanda untuk macam mana kita nak tahu Nak guna kaedah apa lah Okay so yes boleh separatekan variable dia. So in this case kita ada ni 2y kat sini 1 plus x. So this is a different function in terms of x in terms of y. Kita tak boleh bawa macam ni. You know because this is totally different variable. Ni with respect to X takkan function yang kita nak gunakan ni in terms of Y. Ni in terms of Y takkan function yang kita nak gunakan in terms of X. Eh? So it's wrong. So kalau kita nak separatekan variable dia. Kalau kat sini DY, kat atas ni DY. So kat, kat sebelah ni pun kena DY. Meaning that 2Y ni kena bawa pergi sebelah lah. Dia akan jadi 1 over 2Y macam tu. And then DX kita bawa ni atas. Meaning that 1 plus X ni kena jadi ke bawah macam tu. Okay. So konsep dia mudah. Bila ni darab, bila kita bawa pergi sebelah jadi bahagi. Bila dia kat atas, bila bawa pergi sebelah dia jadi bawah. Okay. Macam tu. Ni kat atas, bila kita bawa pergi sebelah dia jadi bawah. Macam tu. Sebab kita bawa dia tu as in darab dengan bahagi. Bukannya tambah dengan tolak. Dia darab dengan bahagi. Eh. So ni konsep dia. And then we have separate the variables. So we integrate both side lah. Okay. This is where 
Saya kata tumpang hierarchy integration awak kena mantap baru awak boleh uh, integrate dengan mudah. So this is actually one over two ni kalau awak tak suka dia nampak macam menyemakkan kita punya integration ni. It's okay. It's, a, it's just a constant. You can put it outside here. So we actually have one over two, one over y dy. So if you can just integrate them, oh this is one over uh, two ln y macam tu boleh tak ada masalah. It's up to you eh. Okay. Ni saya nak tunjuk mana-mana yang rasa macam dia tak nampak. This is actually can be integrate directly. So one over y, we integrate one over y, we get ln y. Okay. And then here we have ln 1 plus x. Okay, plus c. Don't forget plus c. So we actually have 1 over 2 ln y. So kita tak nak uh, ada ln dekat y ni. Sebab jawapan ni kita nak in terms of y sahajalah selalunya. Tengok konteks soalan tu eh. Okay, so what we are going to do here is kita akan eksponenkan both side untuk hilangkan ln ni. So when we eksponen both side, dia akan jadi macam ni lah. Okay. Dia tak akan jadi, this is the common mistake that people always do, dia buat <coughs> plus isi macam tu. Tak boleh suka hati macam ni. Tak boleh. Bila saya kata eksponen both side, Maksudnya eksponen tu sini dan sini sahaja. Ni kenapa dia tiba ada dekat sini tambah pula tak boleh. Both side maksudnya satu belah kiri, satu belah kanan. Bukannya satu sebelah kiri, dua belah kanan. Tidak, tidak. Ya, yeah, salah. Macam, this is the common mistake that people always do. So I'm telling you, uh, sebab selalunya kita hanya akan orang kata encounter those careless mistake bila kita banyak buat latihan. Okay, since you tak banyak buat latihan lagi but I'm telling you now that's, that's the common mistake that people always do. Dia pergi letak exponential lah. Ada dekat uh, ni C juga. Plus E C which is wrong. So sepatutnya E ni dekat semua. Semua ni. Right? So this is how we exponent both side. And then we can see that E dengan ln kita boleh cancel off because ln is log to the base e dan e adalah dia punya inverse of logarithm. Nah, uh, This is index. This is uh, logarithm. Exponential dengan logarithm. Inverse of each other. So we can cancel them off. We will get only y to the power of half. Okay. And then here also can be uh, ringkaskan, simplify because we have e to the power of ln 1 plus x dot EC. Okay. So salah eh. The common mistake that people always do. Dia letak tambah kat sini. Remember when we have A, B plus C. Base yang sama. Power kita tambah. It actually means A to the power of B dot A to the power of C. So this is what's happening here. Okay. This is what happening here. So when we have E to the power of ln plus Okay, so bila kita separatekan dia using index law, so it's going to be dot E C. Okay, E is an Euler's number. C is also a constant. So we have a constant to the power of a constant, we will get another constant. So that's why we name it the other constant that we have here as A. Okay, kita namakan dia sebagai A. Another constant. Maksudnya constant kita yang barulah. So we actually have A E dengan ln again kita boleh cancel of the we will have only 1 plus x. Macam tu. Okay. Okay. So dapat macam ni, kita nak y sahaja. So y is equals to, again we have a squared 1 plus x squared. Since a ni adalah constant, kita kuasa 2, kita dapat constant juga. So we can name it uh, to other constant. So jawapan akhir sebab tu lah kita tak uh, tak kisah dia dekat atas ni huruf apa pun. 
dia adalah satu constant. Yang penting jawapan akhir mesti ada constant. Another constant juga which is k ni adalah a square. Kenapa? Sebab kita square both side tadi. Okay so we don't actually have to uh, to you know to define what is our constant here because constant can be any number. So kalau you tak define pun it's okay. Ni I'm just telling you uh, so you that you tak confused lah. E to the power of C adalah A. A adalah K adalah A squared. Okay. So the concept of um, solving the differential equation is first we have to separate the variables like this and then we integrate and then this is where it can become tedious where you have to simplify them to get only y because we don't want half ln y we don't want ln y we only want y so macam nak hilangkan ln kita exponent both side okay the exponent both side we get something like this and the constant will make you even more confused so this is what's actually happened here let us see whether this is correct or not question 2f ramai yang tanya 2f tadi kan So that's the answer. Constant yang kita gunakan untuk last kali adalah A. Tak ada masalah. Constant yang kita gunakan A. Tak ada masalah. Okay. Any question uh, so far for 2F? No, madam. Okay. So Jadi this quite. Yes, saya. Kalau dalam exam, uh -huh. kita tak tulis uh, E kuasa C itu sebagai A. Tak apa ke? Uh, tak apa but you have, kalau dia adalah soalan objektif, you have to follow the context of the answer lah. Kalau jawapan dia uh, you buat EC tapi jawapan dia dia letak A meaning that uh, you kena faham lah bahawa E to the power of C yang you dapat tu sebenarnya adalah another constant A. And we can have many other constants untuk jadikannya sebagai constant. We have 26 alphabets. <coughs> so tak tak campur break letters lagi. So you tengok konteks soalan tu. Constant apakah yang dia gunakan? Hmm, so kalau dia kata E power of C dia tulis A. Tak sama dengan jawapan you. Meaning that still uh, betul lah. Cuma cara penulisan constant tu sahaja yang berbeza. Boleh ke? Ya yeah, boleh. Thank you madam. Alright, very good Aiman for the question. Okay, any other question for 2F? Sekejap eh. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Ya, yeah. ayah kak? Okay, sorry. I'm a busy woman. <laughs> Sekejap.
Fazila. Ok. Masa. Sekejap ya anak-anak saya. Alright. Alright, um, di manakah saya tadi? Okay, soalan 2F. Okay, this is quite tedious tadi because it involve um, index rules. Okay, so many of you the apa, tak berapa familiar lagi dengan index rule, dengan logarithms rules ni. So that's why uh, you might get some troubles there. But anyway, this is a very good example, good exercise. Okay, can we move on to 3B and 3C? Good minute. Okay. Alright, so question 3B. It says find the general solution. So we have dy over dx is equals to xe to the power of 5x, all right? And then <coughs> we can separate the variable, but as you can see, ini semua in terms of x. So, maksudnya dy dia adalah, fungsinya adalah satu lah. Yes, saya tahu satu dalam matematik ni selalu mengconfusekan kita sebab kalau dia adalah satu, kita selalunya tak tulis. Bukan dia bermaksud dia tak ada. Dia ada dekat situ. Cuma kita tak tulis sebab dia satu. Kecuali dah tambah satu kalau tak tulis salah lah. Tapi kalau darab satu, kita selalunya tak tulis. Let's say we have x squared. Kalau coefficient dia dua, kita tulis. Kalau coefficient dia e, kita tulis. Tapi kalau coefficient dia satu, kenapa kita tak tulis? Ha? Memang kita tak pernah tulis pun satu darab x squared macam tu. Okay. So this one is actually 1 times dy. So we don't write them. That makes you confused. Maybe. So this is what we have here. What we have here. So this is the function in terms of x. This is the function in terms of y. So when we integrate both sides. So integration of 1 dy with respect to y we will get y. Obviously. And integration of x e to the power of 5x. So, this is the common mistake that some of you already did. Yang saya tengok dalam beberapa orang yang hantar saya kat semalam, semalam tanya. Okay, dia integrate separately. So, I ask how to integrate this one actually. So, what technique that you use? Oh, dia integrate satu-satu. I don't know what technique is that. But we have only three techniques in integration tu. So, nak guna ni, it's either by part substitution or partial fraction. Of course lah tak sebab dia tak ada denominator. So, in order to integrate this part, the right hand side, we are going to use either by part or substitution. But since our function that involve here, saya guna pen or ring is x and exponential. So this is a polynomial. This is an exponential and it does not have any connection yang kita boleh guna substitution. Sebab kalau awak um, differentiate apa. Okay. Um, so maybe we can use by part. Kita try guna by part dulu. Okay, so it's either by part ataupun substitution je. So using by part, we remember we have to use the Lopet rule. So we have actually polynomial dengan exponential. So siapa yang datang dulu polynomial? So u will be our x. And dv is equal to e to the power of 5x dx. So du over dx is 1, uh, v is equals to e to the power of 5x over 5. Are you still with me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Alright, so we are going to use my part here. <coughs> okay, so uv 
we have x e 5x over 5 minus integration of v du. We have e to the power of 5x over 5 dx. So, kita tengok. Oh, we can integrate this one directly. Sebab dia dah tak involve two function. Dia involve satu function sahaja which is exponential. Okay, so kalau tak nampak saya keluarkan satu per lima ni. Okay, we actually have only exponential function which can be integrate to e to the power of 5x over 5. Tapi sebab kat luar pun ada 5, so 5 darab 5, 25. So this is what we actually have here. Okay, x e 5x over 5. Okay. So the answer might ask you to factorize because we have e to the power of 5x over 5, e to the power of 5x over 25. So kita tengok, yes, dia factorize eh. Factorize e to the power of 5x over 5. So we actually have x minus 1 over 5. Let's see. So this is the answer. This is 3b. Okay, so the problem untuk 3B ni adalah uh, untuk integrate the right hand side, you have to use the techniques of integration. You cannot integrate them directly and techniques of integration pula, it's either substitution ataupun by part. Since I see there is no connection between our x and e to the power of 5x in terms of its differentiation. So that's why I try to use by part first instead of substitution. Okay, so that is for 3B. Sebab dia orang nak tengok dulu kan Apa nak ajar nak ni. Takut ada perubahan di PS Hari tu ada berapa orang tanya saya Di PS ada perubahan kan Alah akak bagi yang word pun Eh apa Oh tu Excel lah eh. Tak boleh nak terus bagi je lah Asalkan dia orang Takut kat dia orang rujuk situ dulu Nanti ada tanda tangan dalam drive See, I told you, I'm a busy woman. Okay, so that's for 3C, uh, 3B. Any other question for 3B? Guys, any other question? 3B? 3B okay, eh? clear, boleh faham. Kita guna by part kat situ. Okay, then we move on to 3C. Okay, it's very important bila kita buat jimit yang saya tak tak buat jimit. I mean. Sana? Oh yang saya baiki tu? Ah, okay, okay. Yang mana? Yang saya print tu? Ah. Okay. Let's see. Last question for today. So it's very important bila kita buat jimit ni, you participate like this, you respond like this uh, so that um, tak buang masa lah daripada you dengar I membebel saja daripada I pun membebel sebab you tak ada tanya soalan. So it's, it's very important untuk you participate. Otherwise tak gunalah kita buat Google Meet susah-susah macam ni kan. Kalau you just nak dengar saja, okay? So, respond and participate. Alright, so this one, we have, we have our dy dx here. So, we have actually uh, ey dy, boleh buat ni atas. And 2e negative x dx macam tu. So, we have separate them using it corresponding variable. So, integrate both sides, we will get EY and senang lah integrate exponential ni kita salin saja balik. 
Dan ini adalah negatif 2 E negatif X plus C macam tu. Okay so what's the problem? The problem here is we don't want E to the power of Y. We want only Y. So what happened? We have to learn both sides. When I say learn both sides, I'm not saying we have learn here and two long here. Satu dekat kiri, dua dekat kanan. Tak. Ya kalau kita letak satu kat kiri, mestilah dekat kanan pun satu juga. Jangan pandai-pandai letak uh, plus long C macam tu. Dah salah lah. So everything. So when I say the both side, we need that everything on this right hand side is going to have long. Bukannya asing-asing. Ni satu, ni satu tak eh. So please remember that. When you do the exponent or the lon to the right hand side and also the left hand side. So kalau yang belah kiri ni tak ada masalah sebab dia ada satu term je. The problem here is dekat belah kanan ni because we have two terms. Okay. So you tend to have two lons here. So that's why. Alright. <coughs> so this one uh, lon dengan e macam biasa y boleh bawa pergi depan. So lon e is one so we don't write one. Okay, and here we have ln uh, e to the power of negative. Okay, so this is it. Kita tak boleh nak, you know, this is this is the annoying mistake that people always do. Dia pergi separatekan macam ni. No, we cannot expand them. Okay, because kita tak boleh simplify dah dekat, kalau dekat dalam perut dia tu ada plus. Right, so kalau perut dia tu uh, adalah darab, yes, we can simplify them. So anyway, so we actually have our y there and let's see the answer. Apa yang saya salah buat lagi kat sini? Oh. Dia tinggalkan jawapan dia dengan dalam C sahaja. So tak ada masalah. So kalau awak nak tinggalkan jawapan dia dalam boy macam ni. Tapi nampaknya jawapan tu baik hati, dia tinggalkan jawapan dia in terms of E sahaja. So, apa beza ni dengan yang belakang tu sama je. Negatif 2 over EX plus C. Oh, saya tak suka EX dekat sini. Saya nak EY dekat sini pun boleh, tak ada masalah. Bawa je lah turun. Okay, so we actually have um, negative 2. Oh, masa dia bawa EY ni, dia bawa sekali dua. Okay, tak ada masalah. So, we can actually have the answer like this. Tak payah nak complicated kan nak EY dengan EX macam kat belakang tu. So, EY is equals to. Okay, saya buat betul kan. Memang saya buat salah pula. Okay. Negative 2 over EX plus C. Macam tu. Okay, so sama sahaja. Kalau awak nak dapatkan jawapan, kalau konteks jawapan dia in terms of Y, kita tinggalkan macam ni, kita learn both sides. Eh? Okay, so kalau nak jawapan belakang tu senang sajalah dia tinggalkan in terms of E sahaja. No problem juga. Because the question doesn't ask you to find what is Y. Okay, so nak softkan dia, kita tengok konteks jawapan soalan tu. Macam mana. Okay, so that's it for question 1, 2 and 3. I hope that I answered all your question, all your confusion. So, siapa yang buat, so dia tahulah dekat mana yang dia stuck, dekat tahu, dia tahu kat mana yang dia confused. Alright, uh, for question number 4, it's actually involved trigonometric integration. It's very good for you also to do it because you can practice your... Uh, integration for trigonometry and for question number five it is actually a particular solution meaning that dia, dia takkan bagi jawapan that in terms of C because it's given to you the value of Y dengan X so meaning that kita buat macam biasa but then kita masukkan nilai Y dengan nilai X untuk dapatkan nilai C kita and then kita boleh bagi jawapan in terms of particular solution so that's optional question four and five because I know you have a lot of things to do so yeah Question 4 and 5 is optional. So if you haven't done question 1, 2 and 3, it's compulsory for you to do and try it. And also the examples for integrating factor from the notes. Okay, with that, 
I'm giving you another exercise for concept practice 2.2. So 2.1 dah settle 1, 2 dengan 3. So kita try buat pula exercise 2.2. I want you to try and do question 1 only. 1 tu ada 5 soalan. Okay try buat 5 soalan tu menggunakan integrating factor. So we will see whether uh, you can follow the 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 steps or not okay so lima soalan tu sahaja daripada exercise 2.2 question number one yeah i know you have a lot of things to do so tak gunalah saya bagi yang buat nombor satu sampai empat ada dua belas soalan tu tapi you tak buat pun tak apa you buatlah uh, lima soalan ni sahaja Okay, so thank you everyone and um, if you have any problem, just text me, just PM me. But I'm sorry if you text malam, I tak reply. Mm, I'm sorry also kalau I lambat reply minggu ni because I'm quite busy with all the bengkel on courses for this week. But anyhow and anyway, our class will run as usual. Our lecture will run as usual and there will also be some replacement class for the holiday. But anyway, just for read for what we have here only. Do my exercise. Do the math bus question once. The link, my friend said the links already working. So for those yang belum buat math bus question, please do it. Uh, yang ada masalah tu, please do it. And I think that's all for today. Thank you everyone. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye, H5P3. I hope you are doing my exercise. Tomorrow we will be discussing the concept practice exercise 2.2 for question number one that I asked you to do just now. Thank you everyone. Assalamualaikum and have a good day. Bye. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam.